Hi there, this is Nellie Deutsch and I'm on Integrating Technology for Active Lifelong Learning. This is a site that I developed in 2006 and it's been going strong. Right now it's a Moodle version 3.10. Really excited about this version because it's got a lot of new features that are absolutely amazing. One of the features is something that I've been asking for these past um, 17 years, and that is the ability for individual teachers of a course on a Moodle site to get paid for their courses using their PayPal accounts instead of using the system, the whole site's uh, PayPal, which is just one uh, PayPal account instead of having one for each teacher that wants to paid for their courses. So this is uh, absolutely exciting. So let me show you what you need to do to get this going. First of all, it's an enrollment method. So we're going to go into a course and show you how that's done. Are you ready? I know I am. So let's get started. I'm in a course. This is the way it's been for a while now. This is not a new course. I'm going to go into the top here and under not edit settings, but I'm going to go down to more. Okay, this is um, Moodle, as I said, 3.10, and the theme is Advisor Rem UI. So let me scroll down and take you there. So we're going to go into more. That's where the users are, and that's where I can set up the enrollment methods. So we're going to go into users here under course administration. Notice this course administration. And then there's users. Right now we're interested in the users and um, the enrollment methods. Now I've got PayPal, but PayPal, notice here, um, for, let me just uh, notice self-enrollment has to be off. Okay, can't be on with this at the same time. And the guest is also off, but that's up to you. So notice under the PayPal, if I go into the settings, okay, here we go, here are the settings. Notice that this will give the site PayPal accounts email, okay, which is uh, mine because uh, I happen to own the site. And let me show you where that is, okay? So let's go into PayPal and see where that's set up course-wise in case that's what you're interested in. And then I'm going to show you how you can do it not site-wide, but according to each course and of course the course teacher who really wants to get paid directly <laughs> so let me show you how that's done so i'm in the um, admin you can see site administration i just write the word paypal in the search box over here and then scroll down and notice that this is an enrollment method so if i go into paypal first of all you have to enable it because it might have the eye hidden Okay, so you have to unhide it. Uh, next, you may need to get it if you don't have it. And settings. So let's go into the settings. Under the settings, this is site-wide. You're going to uh, scroll down and set your email. So I'm scrolling down. Notice this is where it is. It's not under settings. Scroll down and then uh, notice this is a new feature that I'll show you in a minute. And then uh, you'll see my Gmail, okay, which is my PayPal account. All right, so there it is. Notice that's the business email for the whole site. In other words, courses that are set to PayPal enrollment will have my email. And I don't want that. I want each teacher to be able to charge for um, him or her course. So notice what's here. This is new. This is only for 3.10 and up, I guess. So it's Manage Payment Gateways. And this is where PayPal is done. And you can see the different currencies that are supported. I'm going to add, okay, this will allow me to add a new user. So let's go into the Payment, Manage Payment, so I can add, all right? So 
this is where I add accounts. It's kind of hard to see, so you really have to know what you're doing. So that's why I'm showing you this. You may think that this is all obvious. It's not. Things aren't uh, as obvious as I wish they would be. So here's the payment. Click on Payment Accounts. Okay, so this is where you create your account. Create a payment account for the other teachers. Now, teachers can't do this, only the admin. So the teacher will have to provide you with their API credentials, which they can get. I will share a video in the description of this one so that you can see how this is done and you can share that video with your teacher so that they can get their API. They need to share their ID with you, PayPal API ID, and the secret, all right? But they have to trust you. I guess that might be an issue. Not sure about that. I hope not. All right, that's how it's done. So let's go on to this. Okay, enrollment payment. This is where you set it up some in the course, and I want to set this up. So if you have more than one teacher, when you hit the enrollment on payment, it'll open up this uh, payment account, and then you'll get a list of the teachers who have shared their ID, API, PayPal ID and secret, and then their names will appear there, and they'll be able to add this method and get paid for their course. And that's what you need to do. Of course, they need to, you need to add, well, you can make it free, of course, that's up to you. But this is where you add the fee, and you, of course, this will depend on the currency. Notice uh, you saw a list of the currencies available. Okay, this is according to PayPal. So these are all the currencies, quite a few of them. So you're good to go. I'm sure you'll find yours. Let me know if you have any questions and subscribe. Add the questions to the comment box. Remember, every question is brilliant and it deserves attention. And I'll be happy to support you. On your way to helping other teachers on your Moodle site earn money because they truly deserve it. And so do you, of course. So thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.